Hey guys, what's up? It's Cage from Skywolf Game Studios, and today I thought I would show you how to use Booleans correctly to join objects. Um, I wish I would have started using this years ago when I started back on Blender 2.79, um, but a lot of tutorials at the time, including more recent I've seen, uh, don't really go into explaining it when weird things happen, and I'll should get to that in a second. Alright, so normally you would have like a cube and you would put it right here, right? And if you select both and you press Control J, they appear to be joined. But if we go into wireframe mode, you can actually see they are not. It's actually just, they're just intersecting each other. So this is a problem, especially if you're trying to create a consolidated mesh. Um, you could do it the slow way. Switch back to solid mode and go in here. And then normally what I would do is I would just delete that face just like this. Um, I'm using Pi menus so and a couple other add-ons. So if my screen looks a little um, confusing or anything like that, um, don't panic. Uh, you can just ask and I'll try to help you out in the comments. Um, but anyway, I am currently also using Blender 4. So to, to fix this manually, you would have to edit all these and remove that. Let's just go ahead and switch out of that. I'm not going to even bother. Delete that. Control A. Let's go to Mesh. Let's add another cube. And this time, let's go ahead and Shift D. And we will drag this one into it. What you want to do is press the select the first cube, go over here to the modifiers panel, and this has changed in Blender 4.0. Um, there's a modifier button, and then it's under generate, and we're looking for Boolean. And what you want to do right here to join these two together is go to Union, and if you press the object. Don't worry about any other settings yet. Just click the eyedropper here and select the second cube. And now they are joined together. And it looks a little weird um, at first. Ignore that. Just go ahead and click the arrow or you can press Control A and apply it. Now it's still going to look a little weird. That's okay. That's normal. And that's something not a lot of people mention. But if you take that new object, that was generated and just press G and drag that over. You can delete the old cube. That's the intersecting one. And now if we press Alt G to move that back, you can act and we look at the wireframe. You can actually see it's removed. Let's go ahead and look closer. Have an edit mode. If we delete that first face, press three, you can actually see right here. And let's just go ahead and delete that face. See, it's gone. Now, you can do the same thing with, let's go ahead and move that over. Right here. We don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and this time, let's do mesh. And let's do a cylinder. Under here, let's go ahead and take, change this to 16. And... I am just going to look to the side view, R90, and I'm just searching this out on the Y axis. Now I'm going to top view, Shift D again, that way we get a second object, 90. And this is kind of a weld kind of thing. Um, it's going to be the same thing again, select the first object, um, modifier, generate, boolean. And I usually this for this I like to co co I use the combine which is union the most. Um, you can experiment with the other ones. This one just basically intersects the objects. This one actually joins them, um, and then the difference will like subtract. Uh, but union is the most common. So let's go ahead and use the eyedropper on the second object, and here we are again. They joined. Um, go ahead and apply that. 
and drag that one out. Um, there's proper ways to do this, but I'm not going to go this into that because uh, see where the geometry is, so you would have to go in and fix that. Um, but that's not the point of this one, so delete that one. Alright, now what if you're a low poly artist? This is something that nobody really goes over. Let's go ahead and move that one over there. What if, this is probably a common issue that C happen quite often and it has you scratching your head. So what if I press Control A, let's go ahead and add another mesh, but this time let's add an icosphere. And this is kind of a stylized sphere for low poly, it's already triangulated. So I'm just gonna make a cloud out of this. Scale that up, scale that on the Z. Right there. Uh, let's do that. S Y. Um, there. There's our cloud, right? Okay. So how do we combine this one? Well, for me, I would join the second two. Control J, just join those, it's okay. We're gonna get to why we're doing this. You're already saying what they're intersecting, so that's a problem. Don't worry about that, we're gonna get to that. All right, select the big cloud. Now let's do the same thing. Generate Boolean on the big cloud. Now let's select the second one. Ah, oh, crap, it disappeared. What the hell? Um, no problem, we're going to fix that. Go over here to Solver Options. Um, you can do Fast, and I'll bring that back. If you want Exact, all you have to do is click the self-intersection. Ta-da! Um, this is a problem that I've seen where meshes disappear when you have like weird geometry, and that's okay, it's normal. But that is exactly how you fix that. So you can either use the fast mode or just enable the self intersection. And it'll bring that back and solve that problem instantly. So all we have to do is apply. And there we go. We have that new one. So it's going to generate the. Uh, that happened. That's exactly what happens if you have the, uh, the wrong one selected. So I made a mistake. That's for the difference. We want union. There we go. So it's got the, you'll know the difference because it'll switch um, what's highlighted. And so I'm not perfect either. So I do make mistakes sometimes. And that's just kind of how you fix it. You just control Z it. And be advised that the boolean is very destructive. Uh, but that's how you solve these kinds of problems. All right, so we're back on union. Let's go ahead and reapply this. And now we have the cloud shape that we want. It's low poly. We can delete those old ones that we don't need. G to move that back down. And there we go.